It's ten past nine. Time now to join Ruth Buchanan for playback as she selects her favourite extracts from the past week. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Hello, everybody. To start, let's pretend. Let's pretend we have a national plan. A national plan to deal with any nuclear emergency that might occur. Let's pretend that a plane has hit Sellafield and the wind is blowing nasty radiation in our direction. Let's pretend that there's a bus full of schoolchildren on their way to Dublin Castle to meet the president. But we needn't play Let's Pretend because we have a minister, a real live minister with a plan. And on Wednesday he told Marion Finucane all about it. So Sellafield has blown up. What happens? The first uh, point of contact is the Garda, the Garda Communication Centre. That's the that's the contact point, and and uh, the uh, and that's where the emergency plan is initiated. As soon as we get an alert, th- that's where that's where the the thing uh, steps into into gear. What steps in? The the emergency plan. Yeah, but what is it? What happens well, then? Well, the, the first of all, the 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 alert the alert would come to the to the Garda Communications Centre, and that situation and the system. Uh, I must I must I must state importantly that those systems operate twenty four hours a day, mm-hmm. and a very well tested arrangement is in place. Uh, Marion, that that the, the 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 contact point start starts there. The two main people, the two main agencies who who take over the situation after that is the Emergency Response Coordination Committee. We'll call it the ERCC. That's made up of high level uh, senior civil servants from a variety of government departments, geared and trained to act, and they will act with the second key body, which is the Radiological Protection Institute's Technical Assessment Team. Yeah. Uh, as the name suggests there, Marion, they have the expertise to assess assess the situation, the potential uh, impact or the real impact, depending on the information that is coming coming through. OK, so early, early warning to guard the to radiological protection. How long are we talking? Uh, minutes, immediate, immediate stuff, 24 hours a day cover. OK, so it, I got my message seven minutes ago. What would have happened by now? By now, uh, the, 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 how will the information and advice be given to the, to the public? Yeah. And, and Marion, the, your question and the answer to it will be on the, my fact sheet, which will be in every home in Ireland weeks from now. But tell me now. I will tell you now. In the event of this happening... In the event of this happening, all kind of of of, of uh, media, uh, RTE, Airtel, TV, radio, news bulletins, the RPI website, everything that's available to us, and information will be posted on the website of the of my department and the RPI, and all all information will be issued. Immediately, Marion. Yeah. Immediately uh, of the, it yeah. Comes and, what, and what advice? Like we're eight minutes on now. What should I have said to the listeners? Um, well, that that information will 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 issue based on the the expert the technical expertise that will assess the situation when it happens, the scale of the incident, the 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 the, the potential of 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 the of the incident uh, deteriorating or whatever. Well, say it's a bad situation. If it's a bad, say a, a plane crashed into Sellafield. Say the wind was blowing this way. And it all happened eight minutes ago. Yes. What advice do we give to our citizens and what happens? I'm telling you that that, that, that is in... in, in if, if, if a plane crashed in Sellafield, that is a, we're talking about a very, a very major accident Correct. there. Correct. Something, something that a great power like the United States weren't geared to cope with uh, last week. So that's what we're talking about. Yeah. We would tell people, we would tell people the situation and, and, and they would know from, again, this famous fact sheet that I'm talking about. But tell me what to well, do. I'm telling you what... what, 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 what that Depend- you're, you're going to give me the fact sheet in a couple of weeks' time and I'll read it. Mm. But it, I'm talking now, it happened nine minutes ago. Nine minutes ago. And I'm telling you, first of all, information. Emergency, emergency through all, all means... Of, of communication such as I, I have issued. I have, I have itemized... Do I tell the there. kids in those buses, if there was anybody listening to it, to turn back home? Do I tell people to stay indoors? Yes. All right, Marion. I tell you what you would do. That's the first thing you would do, and we call it sheltering. 
We would say, please remain indoors. See, say, say, with your doors and windows closed. Uh, switch off your ventilation systems. Uh, we want to, you to minimize your exposure to, to uh, the levels of radiation that are now currently, God forbid, out of doors. Now, that's a very particularly effective, uh, uh, and it's a very a relatively simple one. So sheltering is, is, the, is the most uh, likely to be appropriate. Uh, and, uh, How do you mean for, shelter? For, shelter. Is the, is, is, the, is the terminology we use for what you're saying, remaining indoors. We'd, they'd move on then and we would be talking about iodine tablets, taking tablets which would contain non-radioactive iodine. Yeah, how do we get our iodine tablets? Now, the Department of Health will have stocks of these and within, that's one of the things that have to be tweaked. I hope we're making good ground, Marion. <laughs> no, but I mean, uh, when, do, I mean, you, when but do I need my iodine? I, Dorothy rang it, she said. If she weren't frightened already, or before, she certainly is now. And she's not reassured by what she's saying because all he has said in different ways is that there's a fact sheet coming out and that you don't know what's in it, Minister. Uh, uh, Marion, I have it in my hand. <laughs> so I know exactly what's in the in the fact sheet. And well, the fact sheet will be in every home, in, in, in over a million homes I in Ireland. Sorry, Minister, I appreciate that. And this is very serious, I know. But we're now 14 minutes into my warning. Yeah. And all I've, I have got so far is just saying shelter, get off the bike, get into shelter. Yes. Yes. Marian, uh, Marian, do, don't drink the water. Yes, yes. Take take your iodine tablet. Yeah, how did I get my yes. iodine tablet? Uh, that will be that will be uh, in in the fact sheet when it gets to your, <laughs> your home, okay? No, but you Marian, tell me no, you have no, the <laughs> fact sheet Marian, in front of I, you. I, I, how do I get my iodine tablet? I'm, I'm, look, first could I say I, I look I'm grateful for that intervention you made because we mustn't be alarmistic. Minister, here we are. We're heading now for... We're 15 and a half minutes in. How do I get my iodine tablet? It's written on that fact them. sheet. Yes, Tell me. Yes, yes, you'll get them from the Department of Health and Children and they will be maintaining stocks of these uh, iodine tablets for this purpose. And, and How do the, I get them? The specific... As soon as, they, as, as you need them, the, 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 the excellent... Ex, uh, 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 communication process that you and I talked about a few moments ago clicks into gear and that will and that will say exactly how that is to be done. I've taken shelter. You've taken shelter. I'm in my house, I've sealed the windows. Right. How do I get my iodine tablet? You will be told that when 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 we're in emergency. We were not in emergency situation. And as I said, that is one that is one of the of the finer points that we wanted to to deal with the the actual mechanics of doing that. And perhaps what should, does it say in the fact sheets? What what it says in the fact sheets are that that arrangements are being made for for the the. I'll, I'll tell you precisely what it's saying at now, and this will be this will be more explicit when it goes out. The 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 the, the draft. The draft I'm reading at the moment, as you asked the question, from the National Emergency Plan for Nuclear Accidents fact sheet. It's 17 minutes past. Where do I get my iodine right. tablet? You, you will get your, your iodine tablet. You, you may have it in your home when we decide that. Right. Or you may have, there may be distribution uh, centres around the country organised by the Department of Health and Children uh, whose responsibility it will be, A, to, pro to main maintain stocks of them and to provide them via distribution centres or perhaps we're considering having a file in every every home with with uh, uh, with the the uh, the uh, fact sheet that you and I are discussing now minister can i just put an overall question yes. to you do you feel confident that if something dreadful did happen which it hasn't happened and won't happen listeners we hope in Sellafield, do you feel confident that the proper preparations have been made to protect the citizens. Marion, this... can I say this to you with the greatest certitude? I feel as confident after putting two years' work, the RPI, my department, other departments, independent consultants, to put what is described as the best nuclear emergency plan in Europe in place. Joe Jacob, Junior Minister at the Department of Public Enterprise with Marion Finucane on Wednesday. Let's leave the last word on the Joe Jacob affair to one of Marion Finucane's listeners. Now, another caller. I am amazed at the apparent total lack of any knowledge on the part of the Minister in charge. I'd feel safer with Captain Mannering of Dad's Army in charge. And that's the end of that, I hope. <laughs>
Joe Jacob, Junior Minister at the Department of Public Enterprise with Marion Finucane on Wednesday. And that night, Vincent Brown, Ted Harding of the Sunday Business Post and Brian Dowling of the Sunday Times discuss the broadcast. Leaving aside the, <laughs> the issues involved in the interview, it has to be one of the best pieces of radio <laughs> for a long, long time. And so, uh, so, someone on the way out this evening, someone said to me... Um, a friend of mine said to me, talking about, I'm going to steal a line from someone else that it'll give a whole new dimension to the Jacobs Awards. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of radio programming. <laughs> Does it make any difference? Are we in safe hands, do you think? <laughs> Well, I'd have to say, I, I don't think that Joe Jacob done himself any favours today. Um, I think this is one of those interviews that's probably best forgotten from a political point of view. It, um, it just didn't go, it just didn't hit the target at all, at all. I'm not too sure on the basis of what we got this morning that there's a great deal of confidence. Will it be anywhere. a setback to his career or a boost? <laughs> Oh, do you think? He makes George Bush look good. <laughs> <laughs> From Wednesdays tonight with Vincent Brown, and isn't it great that he's back? The last couple of days weren't so happy for Health Minister Micheál Martin. On Thursday's Morning Ireland, he spoke to Anya Lawler about Joe Jacobs' interview. Well, I didn't hear the interview, but I have looked at the transcripts and clearly it was a difficult interview. Uh, and I said it wasn't the best interview that George Jacob did. Well, they were did. simple questions. It was just the answers. Well, no, some of the answers were quite simple, too, which people they? didn't seem... Well, some of the answers were quite simple, which people didn't want to take on board. And uh, well, if I just read... No, I'll just take the point of um, one of them. For example, people are now laughing at sheltering or laughing about staying indoors. That's the fundamental advice. That emanates from the emergency plan. So you, we've come no further than the 1940s? Like no, it's 1992, actually, that the first <laughs> nuclear emergency plan was it's produced. the same advice but no, but, 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 but Yeah, but what's the point, Anya? You're suggesting that we invent some miracle way of, of avoiding a radioactive cloud hanging over us? There are very simple measures that very expert people on emergency planning get together and recommend. And the plan and is we I, all hide. So I know the plan, the plan is you stay in... Well, no, the plan is, first of all... Uh, I mean, if, you've, if, if people out there have something better to do or, or can make better suggestions, go out and make them. Uh, but the fundamental point that is made to all of us, whether we want to take the advice or not, is first thing you do, uh, if we have evidence, and, and, and obviously the communications thing kicks in and all the various emergency services kick in and so on like that and the various committees that take over, and that's all in the plan. The plan has been updated at the moment by and has been updated over the last 12 months tests and so on like that. A fact sheet is the basic communication uh, uh, methodology which will happen when the plan is completed. Right. Com- when is this fact so sheet? Because like we heard quite a lot about this from uh, Joe Jacob yesterday. When, when is this fact sheet actually going to appear? Well, when the plan is completed, about three months' time, I'd imagine. They're, so they're, in they're three months' talking, time yeah, we get They've further testing sheet. to do. They've brought in an independent audit an international independent audit of the plan to make sure that it meets international criteria uh, and, and so forth. And there's a lot of procedures in the what plan do we do and so in on the meantime? like that. Well, we already have the existing plan in, in the meantime, which kicks in. But what we're, the exercise that's going on at the moment is an updating of, of a plan that was produced in 1992. Okay. And do you have confidence then in Joe Jacob, or do you not think in all honesty at this stage? I know the opposition are demanding his resignation, but do you not think he should just do the decent thing and go and say, Absolutely Look, I not. didn't know what I was talking about. With all about, due respect, if go. someone's going to resign over a radio interview, we might as, we might as well all pack up. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I'm not going to buy that one for a moment. Uh, that, that the new litmus test of whether you should be a minister or not is that you must perform well on, on not a Not that you should know show. your brief? Uh, well, he does know his brief, and in fact he's overseen <laughs> fairly fundamental reorganisation of a nuclear accident plan. Now, Micheál Martin also spoke to Anya Lawler on Thursday about the iodine pills, and that part of the interview was rebroadcast on Friday's Morning Ireland. They're, in, they're stocked in the health boards as, in accordance with the 92 plan, uh, and we have sufficiency stocks of iodine tablets uh, in all health board areas. The iodine tablets are stocked in the health boards. They will be distributed. They are stocked, yeah. They yeah. are stocked. We have yeah. enough stocks for everyone in the country? Yes. And they will be distributed at some point after the fact sheet has been distributed in three months' time. Well, that's what the minister told us yesterday morning. The problem is, it turned out yesterday, there ain't no iodine. The Southern Health Board has no usable iodine at the moment. Iodine supplies are out of date too in the Southeastern Health Board. It's the same for the Northwestern Health Board. They destroyed out-of-date stocks at the Midland Health Board. In the Eastern Region Health Authority, they have the tablets, but they've passed their use-by date. And remarkably, the board is claiming that even out-of-date tablets are still effective. It's a total shambles now, Micheál Martin, isn't it? Well, first of all, Anya, can I say, uh, I would like to first of all apologise to you and indeed to your listeners yesterday for the incorrect information which I gave in relation to the issue of iodine tablets being stocked in health boards. Uh, Why did you get it wrong? I was given that information in good faith on the evening prior to coming on Morning Ireland, as you know, to the boat. Half past nine that I was told to, that I was coming on Morning Ireland, I checked specifically that issue uh, and was informed in, in good faith, and I would accept that, 
uh, that they did have stocks and I was informed that in 1991 about three and a half million tablets were issued. Now I take responsibility for that uh, in, in the sense that I subsequently went on radio in the light of that information given to me in good faith uh, and gave it in that context. Uh, and um, I apologise for that. Micheál Martin and his leader and our Taoiseach Bertie O'Hearn was in Bray on Thursday and he spoke to Ryan Tuberty for 5-7 Live. In the case of what Joe Jacobs was talking about yesterday in the nuclear plan, uh, and he, he did go on to talk about the, the, the nuclear plan, uh, and uh, I'm very well aware uh, that that interview was not either one of Joe's best uh, and certainly did not come across uh, in, in a way that, that gave people the, the necessary confidence. But having said that, uh, Joe Jacob is very competent on this issue. I accept it didn't come across great yesterday. Listen to the tape. I've had bad days on radio too. Uh, he wasn't on top of his brief, was he? he, he I, I, th- I think he, 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 he in, if anything, in JJ Jacob, I dealt with him. I had a discussion with him at a bilateral meeting on public enterprise the previous day. Um, and we discussed what if a plane um, went into, uh, into Sellafield. I said, what if? Uh, I wish the answer he gave me that day had been given yesterday. It wasn't. But he, he knows this nuclear issue inside out. I accept that that did not come across. I, I, I think if, um, and I, I know on other days, uh, our National Airways have played him uh, on other programmes, answering in the doll, very competently in this. So in, 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 in fairness to the man, and I'm saying it didn't come across great yesterday, but he does know his brief. And, and as well as that, I think the plan, uh, what we have to be careful, I think Michal Martin has done this, but to assure people, and Jay, jo, Jay, jo, uh, Joe Jacob will again, to assure people um, that that the plan that's there is a good plan. You know, if it created any concern, naturally, uh, Joe and I and everyone else um, are, are regret that. Um, but um, he, he is a competent person who probably knows more about Sellafield and nuclear uh, on the international stage that, 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 than anybody else. But it, that didn't go across yet. And what did the man himself have to say? Well, uh, we have good days, we have bad days. Perhaps wasn't that yesterday wasn't my, my greatest uh, day. But we move on, have important work to do. Uh, I want to get a very positive message out about what the government is doing. The government is on full alert. We have the, the finest public administration in Europe, probably in the world. They're all on full alert for any, any emergency that may, that may come about. And what I want to say is this. The nuclear brief is my brief. Not, nothing to do with, with, with germ warfare or anything like that. I didn't go on that programme to talk about that. I, I would talk about the nuclear brief, which I am totally au fait with. Minister, what do you make of the f- media frenzy about what happened yesterday? Were you, were you upset by it? Yeah, it was a bit of a, it was a, bit of a, a nightmare, all right, the reaction to it. Um, and uh, the, the effluvium from it. Well, I thought I was having a nightmare when I saw the, the reaction to it. But uh, that was very well balanced by the, 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 the messages of approval and the message of, 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 of goodwill that I got from my colleagues in government, from my colleagues in the parliamentary party, across the parties, and most importantly, from the people of Wicklow. Did you get unfair treatment in I the was press? Hoping, I was hoping that... I was hoping that the Taoiseach, after all that, that swell of support today, the Taoiseach might call it an election in the morning. Thank you all very much. Joe Jacob with Ryan Tuberty on Thursday's 5-7 Live. On Friday, Marion Finucane spoke to a man called Tony, who's taking no chances. He's organised a bunker under the stairs with a mattress, sleeping bags, water and long live food, a radio, batteries and candles. And he and his wife will shelter in there for as long as it takes. If I may coin a phrase, Marion people may think I'm alarmist. Um, <laughs> but I think you can either do something yourself in your yes. own small way or do nothing and wait for other people. I'm not prepared to wait for Joe Jacobs' fact sheet to come out in three months' time to tell me what I should do. Um, I think if there's a crisis or the possibility of a crisis at, at hand, the time to prepare is no, not until the uh, cri- not, not wait until the crisis occurs. And tell me, when they go out of date, your tins, what oh, are you going to do? Oh, there's no problem about that. I mean, if this whole... <laughs> fear that we all have evaporates and it turns out to be uh, to have no substance well most of the food has will have a long shelf life and it can either be eaten yourself or can either be given away in due course to less fortunate people nice. or alternatively you can feed it to the dog next summer you know. and that's what i'm worried about that poor dog there was no mention of a sleeping bag under the stairs for the dog there was no mention of a month's supply of chum 
There's no way that poor creature's going to get walkies. And if he survives, he'll have to eat tinned rice and beans for weeks. (laughs) 